I'm talking about putting something out in the world, not getting back the response that you wanted or expected. Has someone emailed you and you took a while to respond back to them? Has someone never called you and you never called them back? It's about giving people the benefit of the doubt. Hi there, Jody Bentley here, actor, producer, and career coach. And today's video is a little esoteric, um, but it's coming out of some interactions I've had with clients and actors as of late, and I think it's really important. So this video is about giving people the benefit of the doubt. So I've just been noticing um, the cancel culture that's been happening right now. And I've been seeing it happen with my clients in, in relationship to other people in the industry. Um, I had someone say, well, I reached out to this director. They never respond to my email. Well, I don't want to work with a director like that anyway. So I'm not even going to follow up. I had um, a, a client say to me, well, I was building my agent list and I went on this agency's website and their, their website was full of broken links. They had like two links didn't work on their site. If they can't handle their website. How can I trust them to build my career? Another client had called someone uh, in their life. Maybe it was even just an acting teacher or photographer. Well, I called them. They never even called me back. So forget them. So I just took a step back from those things because look, this video is not about um, when someone hurts you or you feel abused or you feel disrespected like if someone does those things to you that's not what i'm talking about here i'm talking about putting something out in the world not getting back the response that you wanted or expected um or researching something someone and finding something um but let me let me ask this let me ask you this um have has someone emailed you and you took a while to respond back to them or maybe it fell through the cracks and you never did has someone never called you and you never called them back because shit was going on in your life and you just forgot or maybe just couldn't get to your messages at that point? Or have you ever had a broken link on your website that just happened to be broken because that's technology. It was good when you started and then it got broken. And, that, and then until someone told you, you didn't know. So what I'm finding, like all of those people were ready to cancel that person. They're ready to be like, they didn't respond. They didn't call. Their links are broken done with them. Moving on, done with you. So I just invite you to notice, is it something that is going against your value system, right? Like again, that, you, that someone is um, uh, physically abusing you, verbally abusing you, offending you in some way. I'm not talking about that. But what I'm telling this other piece is really your ego, where the ego can get in the way. Well, they didn't email me back screw them, right? That kind of thing, right? And, and we, we can go to that place. But that's what I'm really inviting you to notice because that happens and then cancel. Now, we have no idea what is going on on the other end. We have no idea. We have no idea why that person didn't respond to your email. Maybe they're not interested. Maybe they're not a nice person. That's true. Those could be two possibilities. Or Maybe they're super busy. Maybe they just landed their dream job and they haven't had a chance to check email. Maybe they're dealing with some family health issues and email is the last thing that they're looking at right now. And they're only responding to people that they know at this point or deals they already have in the works. We don't know. So I really invite you to give people the benefit of the doubt. And that's hard sometimes in our business because there are so many people, companies, whatever, um, who take advantage of other people, right? We know this. We know that that can be prevalent in our industry. We've seen it. So I get that that is hard to do. But to create relationships, to build relationships from an authentic place, I invite you to, to put that ego aside to go, oh, well, they have a broken link on their website. Yeah, the news on my website is from five months ago, so I'll give them a pass. Do you know what I mean? Like, just be authentic. Just be honest. You can be mad that they didn't email you back, but why not follow up? Why not follow up again? If they're really important, why not follow up again? Because we don't know what is happening on the other end. So I just really invite you to put the ego aside 
and, and look, I'm holding up a mirror to myself here too, because I know that I've done this, okay? Um, but just to put the ego aside and give someone the benefit of the doubt and focus on building the relationships and looking for the good instead of looking for how you're going to get screwed over, right? Um, and again, I get it because that can be challenging in this industry. But the way to build those relationships and build them with more ease and joy and trust is to give people the benefit of the doubt. So I invite you to do that. But I also invite you to notice when something doesn't sit right with you, it's going against your value system, it's going against how you want to be communicated with in this world, that's different, right? Like I get that. But let's just put the ego aside and give people the benefit of the doubt and build the relationships we want to build. And if we hear from them, great. And if we don't hear from them, so what? Let's move on to the next. All right, I trust this helps. Um, it's just something I've noticed lately and I think it really warranted having a conversation about. So I want to know what you think. I want to know if, if you've had this done to you, if you've had that experience reaching out to someone else where you kind of wanted to just negate them and, and the whole thing right away. Let me know where you're thinking. Let me know where you stand on this because I think this is a big thing in our business and something we get to talk about. All right, post below. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye.